Hi, my name is Alia. Um, I'm here to react to the ocean is way deeper than you think. Um, someone suggested I react to it, so that's what I'm doing. Um, first of all, real quick, I just want to say thank you so much to anyone that's subscribed or liked or commented. It really helps me a lot, and I'm just so thankful. I wish I was better with words and like could express it more, but I don't know. I'm just really thankful. So thank you so much. Um. With that out of the way, we're going to get into this. Um, this is from Real Life Lore. I'll leave the link to the video in my description. And this video is shorter than I thought it was going to be. It's only 6 minutes and 30 seconds. I don't know why I thought it would be longer. Anyway, um, the ocean. Honestly, the ocean is like, kind of scares me. I kind of have a fear of the ocean. Um, it's not like... Like, I can be on a beach and that's fine, but, like, being out on the open ocean, uh, that just seems terrifying to me. I don't think I could ever go on a cruise. Like, uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, let's get into this and see how deep the ocean is. I'm pretty sure, isn't the deepest part, like, the Mariana Trench? That's all I know. Pretty much, I don't know, I feel like I know the facts everyone else knows about the ocean. Like, well, it's only 5% explored or whatever anyway i'm kind of just talking let's just get into this video thank you so much for watching um let me know what else you'd like to see and let's get into this the ocean is really really deep deeper uh, in like fact that picture than most right of there? us you realize you. if you were to shave off all of the land from the tops of every continent and island in the world and fill up the ocean's deepest points with that land then the entire earth would be covered in an ocean two miles deep Three-fourths of our planet is already covered in water, though, and it goes a lot deeper than just two miles. Let's start with a sense of scale. This dot right here is the size of an average human. This slightly larger dot is the size of an elephant. And this is the size of the largest ship it's ever just built. It's crazy how Nevis. huge With that in mind, let's start going underwater are. and see what we find out. Like it's, the know, first milestone is at 40 about. meters below the surface, which is the maximum depth allowed for recreational scuba diving. Scuba a little further I down at 93 meters is where the wreck of the Lusitania was discovered. <clears throat> I've gone snorkeling and stuff, and even that, I'm like, I kind of start hyperventilating. I've only done it a few times, but I don't know, it's just something so weird about having my face in the water, but being able to breathe, I don't know, it makes me hyperventilate a little bit, but scuba diving, I don't think I could ever do that. <laughs> It's interesting because the Lusitania itself is 240 meters long, which means that it sank in water shallower than it is long. So if the ship was standing on its stern or bow, it would be sticking out of the water. Just slightly deeper than that at 100 meters is where diving can become seriously fatal if you're not careful because of decompression sickness. But that didn't stop a man named Herbert Nitsch to accomplish the free diving world record at a depth of 214 meters. This guy swam down to this level with just one single breath. But a little one further breath? down at 332 meters, we have the scuba diving world record, which was accomplished by another oh man God. named Ahmed Gaber. If he had swam down another 111 meters, then he would have reached the height of the Empire State Building if it was submerged oh. underwater. And a little further than that, at 500 meters below the surface, we arrive at the maximum dive depth of blue whales, the largest creatures on the planet and also the limit of the U.S. Seawolf class nuclear submarine. At 535 meters, we can witness the <coughs> maximum dive depth of Emperor Penguins, and this is when we must bring up the intensity of water pressure. At this level below the surface, the water pressure exerted on a person or the penguins would be roughly equivalent to a polar bear standing on a quarter. So further down the depth oh, at 830 meters would be the it's height crazy. of the bird. I don't know. It's crazy how that works. Like, it makes sense, obviously. But it's just so weird to think about how, like, up at the top, you're fine, but then it's just, like, it really just pushes down on you. I don't know. It's so crazy to think about. Khalifa in Dubai, the tallest building in the world. Once we hit 1,000 meters below the surface, we begin to enter the scary zone. Light from the surface can <laughs> no longer reach zone, beyond like this point, so the rest of the ocean below is ago. shrouded in permanent darkness. 
On top of that, oh, the water pressure you would you. experience at this point would be about the same as if you were standing on the surface of the planet Venus, meaning that you would die very quickly. Damn. You would also meet the giant squid at this sea level if the water oh. pressure didn't already kill you. Well, at 1,280 meters, we reached the maximum depth dived to by the leatherback sea turtle, and further down at 1,828 meters, we would reach the deepest part of the Grand Canyon were it to be underwater with us. Oh. Down at 2,000 meters, we start to encounter some it's of the more terrifying sea creatures like, like the ominously named black dragonfish a carnivorous beast with a stomach that doesn't allow light to be emitted through it meaning that since we're in total darkness underwater at this point the only way you would ever see this thing is with a flashlight mm. a little further down at 2250 meters we would reach the maximum depth dived to by both sperm whales and the very frightening colossal squid mm. sperm whales often have sucker marks and scars left on their bodies from battles with a colossal squid that likely take oh. place at these incredible depths the squids themselves How many can grow to be 14 meters long and weigh up to 750 kilograms with eyes the size of a dinner plate and razor sharp sickles in the middle of their tentacles. So yeah, good luck with that down there. Way yeah, further no, down you. at 3,800 meters, we can find the wreck of the RMS Titanic. Oh, it's just getting and darker. a bit past that at 4,000 meters, we start to enter the abyssal zone of the ocean. Water pressure is at an astonishing 11,000 pounds per square inch down here, and there are yeah. numerous strange, almost alien-like creatures that inhabit these depths, such as the fangtooth, anglerfish, and viperfish. Down at 4,267 meters is the average depth of the ocean where you would normally expect to hit the floor, but there are parts of the ocean that go significantly deeper than even this. At 4,791 meters, rest okay. of the wreckage... <laughs> I know it was said a while ago, but the fact that the sun just doesn't come in is so crazy. I need to find some better vocabulary, but <laughs> um, yeah, the fact that there's just no sunlight at all, oh, it's, no thank you. <laughs> okay, back into it. Battleship Bismarck sunk during World War II, and way down at 6,000 meters is the beginning of the Hadal Zone, named after the underworld Hades itself. <laughs> The water pressure down at these depths can become 1,100 times what you would experience way back on top at the surface, which is roughly equal to an elephant balancing on a postage stamp or a single person carrying the weight of 50 Boeing 747 50? jumbo jets. Down at these no depths, thanks. you would be crushed immediately without any outside protection, but life still exists down here in various strange forms. At 6,500 meters, we reach the maximum depth that the DSV Alvin can dive to, a popular research submarine that helped to discover the Titanic. Way further down at 8,848 meters below the surface, and we have arrived at the height of Mount Everest, were it to be upside down and placed underwater. And then, way further past even that, at 10,898 meters, we arrive at the depth reached by James Cameron in 2012 during the Deep Sea Challenger mission. Is the deepest point in the ocean James yet reached Cameron. by humans that was back in 1960, familiar, though, when two men named Don Walsh and Jacques Picard reached a depth of 10,916 meters using their Trieste submarine. It took them five Damn. hours to descend through the ocean like to this depth, and they really? only stayed for 20 minutes before a math. window cracked know, and they began to resurface. Just a bit further down from oh there, oh my god, imagine you're in a submarine and the window cracked. <gasps> oh, no thank you, no fear. <laughs> Two meters and we reached the average flight altitude of a commercial airliner so if you've ever looked I out thought... of the window while on a flight oh, and looked mind. down to the ground okay. that's a... <laughs> i was gonna say i thought it was like three thousand i mean thirty thousand feet but i'm just not realizing it's in meters so <laughs> good sense sense. Of how incredibly deep down into the abyss that we are currently at Finally, when we hit 10,994 meters, we have hit the bottom of the known ocean called the Challenger Deep, right here on this map, just about 300 kilometers southwest of Guam Island. However, it is believed that there are almost so certainly like even deeper parts of the, the ocean than Deep this is... that just haven't been discovered yet. It wasn't until 1997, that after all, Mariana that the Serena Trench? Deep was discovered with a depth of 10,732 meters, making it the second deepest known point in the ocean. It is estimated that only about 5% of the yeah. ocean's floor has been accurately mapped, leaving the other 95% to be currently a mystery. It may be only a matter of time before an even deeper part of our ocean is found, mm. and who knows what we may discover there. Okay, that was a good video. Real quick, I'm gonna look up where the 
Um, what's it called? Mariana Trenches. <clears throat> South Pacific Ocean. So, was that... I don't think that was where they were showing the... Making oh, it the second. maybe it is. Because that's what... Japan right here. So then Australia would be kind of down here, right? And then that's like right here. Oh, this is 11,000 meters, but, so, hold on. So the Challenger Deep and the Mariana Trench are two different things. I'm getting confused. Anyway. <laughs> um, thank you for watching. Thank you for suggesting this video. Um, and yeah. <laughs> Let me know what else you'd like to see. And see you next time. <laughs>